Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, I did not buy that other piece of old gold that I told you about, I bought this instead. And yeah, if you like fun videos on gold and silver, please like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I do upload videos at least twice a week, so don't forget to hit the bell button if you do want the regular content. But yeah, so we got this uh, gold eagle instead of the other Canadian gold coin. I'll put it down, it seems to be focusing better right there. <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up getting this instead. Well, I actually got both, but one was for someone else in my family that heard I was heading down there, so yeah, I was asked, I mentioned the coin shop to them the other day, told them to go check it out, they asked, they asked if I was going to go back there anytime soon, and heard about the deal, so they asked me to grab the, uh, this for them as well, I'm not sure if you can really see it too good here. But yeah, it's another $5 old Canadian piece. This one is a 1912, not the 1913 that I got. It's starting to get a little bit of toning to it, not a whole lot. I think it's a, I think it's cool tone gold personally, but Yeah, it's not, not really a whole lot of toning going on on that, but yeah, that one's not mine though. This is the purchase I have made for myself, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's my first piece of American old gold. This is a 1908. That would be... Yeah, I really have a huge preference for year, although I do love this specific design of the of the eagle, and I like the the <laughs> newer design for the Indian head, as they'd call it. But yeah, I I'm a huge fan of that eagle design right there. They mentioned they had it in stock, so instead of getting another 1913 like I was planning on, because I had a 1912 and a 1913, I decided to get this instead. Just to switch things up, I already have a $5 old Canadian piece, when mine's switching it to the American. Super cool old coin, at least in my opinion. And... Yeah, I did get one other thing, and I'll give them a little shout out to you because it reminds me of Fish, the inefficient stacker. Mackerel dimes. Gotta get a few of those. I know my son wants wanted a dollar's worth of mackerel dimes. He's been doing lots of work outside around the house lately, and yeah, so I decided to get it for him. He is a huge fan of those dimes, and it makes me think of Fish, the inefficient stacker, especially with the gold out here right now, because he has one of the, just one of the craziest gold stacks that you would basically ever see, whether it be on YouTube, whatever, it's just, it's an amazing gold stack, it's pretty cool. A lot of those pieces that he has too, it's pretty cool. Same with the silver pieces. Like his fish bars that he has, are, they're pretty sweet in my opinion. And I want to do a shout out for Expat Stacker. I'll put both your description, or yeah, links in the, the description below. But yeah, he's very informative. He's a plethora of information. He's a lot of historical information too. And... Yeah, for me, it's he's got a great channel. I'm I've subscribed to both of them. He is 
they're both some of my favorite channels. I'm a huge fan of them. And I highly recommend you guys go check out both of them, Inefficient Stacker and Expat Stacker. Yeah, I, I, I'm a huge fan of that uh, MS-70 Buffalo you got to Expat. That's a pretty sweet coin. Go check out that video. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I do upload videos at least twice a week. I hope you guys enjoyed the recent pickup. And stay positive. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.